Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I want to tell you about a photo walk that Eva and I went on last summer, I think. You know, I probably know how much I love Cinestill 50D. Um, I do not love how expensive it is sometimes, but it's a really cool film. I really like low ISO films for whatever reason. It allows me to shoot differently during the daytime when there's enough light. When I learned that I can shoot this film that I'm going to tell you about today, I was really excited to try it out because basically it allows you to shoot the same 50D but with more versatility when it comes to light. And the film that I'm talking about is Vision 3 to 50D. This film we bought from Anvlog Amsterdam. Um, it was Tim at the time, just one guy. I'll put a link to his Instagram and their website. You can check them out. They have a bunch of different films, 50D I think and 250D. Uh, sometimes I think they maybe even get 500T. And the cool thing about this is that they sell them for a very, very affordable price. So, and the quality control from the order that we got, we bought a bunch of film from them. Uh, it was really nice. Uh, it was re-rolled film in old canisters, but they do a really good job at it. So your film is not going to break on you. The only catch here is that you need to know how to develop the film yourself or have a lab that is willing to develop it for you. In our case, we develop it ourselves. We wanted to see how similar or different 250D is going to be from 50D. Now, 50D that we shot is from Cinestill. It's the normal one that you can find everywhere. Uh, the 250D, as I mentioned, is Vision 3 250D rolled in a canister. There's one big difference between the two now. Cinestill have the Vision 3 film from Kodak with the ramjet removed. I think nobody really knows at what point does that removal happen. I think in the beginning they were doing it themselves, but I would assume that now Cinestill has gotten big enough to be a major client of Kodak that they could potentially get the film without any ramjet on it. And I don't even see why they wouldn't be able to make specialized orders. What I'm hinting at here is the Cinestill 400D that just came out recently. Now a lot of people are spe speculating if it's just 250D with the ramjet layer removed. Some people asked Cinestill on their website, Cinestill said no. I also know that Jason from Grainy Days got a film from Cinestill to try it out. And he is also not sure if it's the same or not. In all likelihood, this is probably Vision 3 250D with the Remjet removed. 250D from Kodak is a really good film. It's a cinema film. Some of your favorite movies have been shot on it. And you can shoot it at home for a really nice price and develop it yourself. Again, I don't know if I mentioned before, the people in Analog Amsterdam, they have a list of people that will develop it for you in your city if it's available. The development is really simple. It's just one extra step using washing soda. If you want to see all the details about it, I plan to do a video about it in the future. So if you're not subscribed and you're interested, maybe maybe do that, hit notification bell, and you'll be notified when we make a video about it. So I don't think I have any more to say for now. Enjoy the footage from that day. I'll see you on the other end.
of stuff. You know my brain when I was changing the lenses, my brain was thinking somehow I was changing the films. And I was like, why am I getting so high F uh, sharp speed if it's ISO 50? And then I realized no we didn't change the camera. So before I end this video, a couple of small notes about the photos that you just saw. These two films were developed, scanned and inverted by us here at home. So if you're doing it yourself or if you're sending it to a lab, your, you know, your results may vary. I don't think it really matters so much as long as you're able to get what you want from the film. I like the fine grain that you can get from 50D. Portra 160 and the same with 250D is not as grainy as uh, you might think especially if you compare it to uh, what might be the same film which is the uh, Cinestill Dynamic 400. And what's important is that you find the film that you like or any tool that helps you get the result, the final result that you imagine when you begin your um, project, for example. And I feel like um, Cinestill 50D for me is a really good film that helps me achieve that look. Um, it doesn't have it necessarily baked into it, but I can achieve it starting from Cinestill 50D. The same with the Vision 3 to 50D is really nice film. I like to shoot it around 100 when I do, and it also retains the highlights. like any professional film does and I think the color doesn't really get wacky so easily. Other than that I think this is all I wanted to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you're interested in seeing how we develop the Vision 3 and other things related to development and film photography make sure to subscribe and we really appreciate if you like this video if you hit the like button. Other than that take care see you on the next one. Bye!